the fight, flight, freeze and fawn responses are instinctive reactions to perceived threats, deeply ingrained in human biology. These responses are part of the autonomic nervous system's role in ensuring survival by triggering specific behaviours aimed at addressing danger. Fight involves confronting the threat head-on. Flight entails escaping to safety. Freeze results in immobilisation. And fawn focuses on appeasing the threat to mitigate harm. Each response serves as a survival mechanism, enabling individuals to respond effectively to challenges in their environment. The origins of these survival responses lie in the evolution of the human brain and nervous system. The fight and flight responses were first identified by Walter Cannon in the early 20th century as part of the sympathetic nervous system's activation under stress. Freeze and fawn were later recognised as additional dimensions of stress response, expanding the understanding of how humans and other animals cope with danger. These responses are controlled by the limbic system, particularly the amygdala, which processes threats and triggers physiological changes like increased heart rate, rapid breathing and the release of stress hormones such as adrenaline and cortisol. Let's look at each response in detail, starting with the fight response. The fight response is characterised by a proactive approach to danger. When faced with a threat, individuals exhibiting the fight response prepare to confront and neutralise it. This may involve physical aggression, assertiveness or verbal confrontation. The fight response can be beneficial in situations where standing one's ground is necessary, such as self-defence or protecting others from harm. For instance, a parent defending their child from a wild animal exemplifies the fight response in action. However, it can also lead to unnecessary aggression if the perceived threat is misinterpreted or exaggerated. Now let's explore flight. The flight response involves escaping or avoiding a threatening situation. It's a self-preservation strategy designed to minimise exposure to harm by increasing distance from the source of danger. Flight can manifest as running away, hiding, or withdrawing from potentially harmful environments. This response is often seen in animals fleeing predators, but it's equally applicable in human contexts, such as leaving an abusive relationship or avoiding unsafe areas. While the flight response can ensure immediate safety, over-reliance on avoidance can lead to issues such as chronic anxiety or an inability to confront necessary challenges. Now let's explore freeze. The freeze response results in temporary immobilisation in the face of danger. This reaction occurs when neither fight nor flight feels viable and staying still might reduce the likelihood of detection by a predator. Freezing can also provide a moment to assess the situation before deciding on the next course of action. However, in humans, the freeze response can manifest as paralysis or an overwhelming sense of helplessness, often complicating responses to traumatic events. For example, a person who freezes during a robbery may feel shame or guilt later, despite the response being an automatic survival mechanism. Now let's explore fawn. The fawn response involves appeasing the source of threat to prevent harm. This behaviour often develops in situations of prolonged danger, such as abusive relationships, where submission and compliance become strategies to avoid conflict. Fawning may include excessive people-pleasing, avoidance of confrontation, or prioritising others' needs over one's own. While the fawn response can temporarily diffuse tension, it often comes at the cost of personal boundaries and self-esteem. Over time, it can lead to unhealthy patterns in relationships and difficulty asserting one's needs. Now let's look at some benefits and maladaptations of these survival responses. Survival responses are vital tools for ensuring immediate safety and navigating dangerous situations. The fight response empowers individuals to confront and neutralise threats, which can foster resilience and a sense of control. The flight response minimises harm by creating distance from danger, often ensuring physical safety. The freeze response can prevent further escalation by momentarily halting action and allowing for assessment. The fawn response can de-escalate conflicts and foster temporary harmony, buying time to find a safer solution. Each response has its place and purpose, demonstrating the adaptability of human survival mechanisms. Maladaptations. Despite their benefits, survival responses can become maladaptive when activated inappropriately or excessively. For example, the fight response may lead to unnecessary conflict or aggression in everyday situations, straining relationships and creating additional stress. The flight response, when overused, 
can result in avoidance behaviours that hinder personal growth or the resolution of challenges. Chronic freezing can lead to feelings of helplessness, while excessive fawning often results in codependency and a loss of identity. Furthermore, prolonged activation of these responses can contribute to stress-related disorders such as post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety and depression underscoring the need for balance and appropriate coping mechanisms.